Want to get cheat sheets, audiobooks, lessons, apps, and much more every month for free? Just click the link in the description to get your free language gifts of the month. Hi everyone, I'm JP. Welcome back to Korean Top Words. I believe you know that we have a 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, and for you, in this video, we are going to introduce top words to get to Pyeongchang. Let's begin. Incheon Gongang, Incheon Airport, Incheon Gongang, Incheon Gongang, Incheon Airport. This is the biggest international airport in South Korea, so if you want to visit Korea and Pyeongchang from other countries, this would be the airport that you might have to visit first. I think it's always be ranked as top 5 airports in the world, so I think everything will be convenient for you at the airport. In a sentence, you can say, 인천공항은 서울 바로 옆에 있는 인천시에 위치해 있습니다. 인천 에어포트 is located in Incheon City, right next to Seoul. One good thing about the Incheon Airport is the access to other cities um, because you can easily take a subway to the um, center of the city which will only take about 40 minutes and it costs very cheap, like it's always less than um, 10 US dollars. And if you want to go to other cities, you can also easily take a bus um, inside the building. KTX, Korea Train Express. KTX, Korea Train Express. So it's like Deseve in France or Shinkansen in Japan, which runs very fast. So to Pyeongchang um, from Seoul, it only takes about one hour if you take a KTX. Um, they also run a special train from Incheon Airport to Pyeongchang, which will only take about 98 minutes. So that means you don't have to transfer to the other train, you can just sit in the same train from Incheon Airport and go to Pyeongchang, which will be very convenient. By a bus, I think it takes about three hours, but you can just go there very fast. In a sentence, you can say, 평창에 가는 KTX 표는 어디에서 살수 있나요? Where can I buy a KTX ticket to Pyeongchang? So if you want to buy a KTX ticket, you can also for sure book your ticket online or also buy it at the airport too. So if you're not sure how to do that, you can for sure ask someone at the information desk, which you can easily find anywhere at the airport. 진부역, 진부 station, 진부역, 진부역, 진부 station. So when you want to go to Pyeongchang, uh, make sure to get off the train in 진부 station. There's no Pyeongchang station for KTX. Um, so you have to buy a ticket for 진부역, 진부 station, and then take a shuttle bus or take a taxi to the stadiums. So if you want to buy a KTX ticket to Jinbu Station, you can say, 진부역까지 가는 KTX 표는 얼마예요? How much is the KTX ticket to Jinbu Station? And if you want to go to uh, Pyeongchang and come back to Seoul several times, you can also think about to buy Pyeongchang Pass. Like if you just pay for a certain amount of money, you can use KTX for 5 days or 7 days uh, without extra cost. 시외버스. Intercity bus, 시외 버스, 시외 버스, intercity bus. So it really means a bus going to outside of a city, because 시 means city and 외 means outside. So there are several ways to go to Pyeongchang. Um, you can actually take a bus um, to Pyeongchang too. In the case, you can get a bus from the Incheon Airport or a bus terminal in Seoul and say. 평창에 가는 시외 버스 표 주세요. I like an intercity bus ticket for 평창. 가 주세요. Please go to. 가 주세요. 가 주세요. Please go to. So after you arrive at the Jinbu station, Jinbuyeok, after taking a KTX, the easiest way to go to a stadium would be by taking a taxi. Taxi is very cheap in South Korea. Um, or whatever you imagine, it'll be cheaper than that. When you get on a taxi, um, you can for sure talk to the taxi driver in English, um, say where you want to go, but you can try to say your destination using very simple Korean phrase, which is 가주세요. For example, if you want to go to Gangneung Intercity Bus Terminal, which is Gangneung Shie Bus Terminal, you can say 강릉 시외 버스 터미널까지 가주세요. Please go to Gangneung Intercity Bus Terminal. Okay, so you just checked out top 5 words to get to Pyeongchang. 
Um, I hope you get a chance to go to Korea and use some of the words and transportation that we introduced here. If you like this video, um, let us know in a comment or like this video, or subscribe to channel and visit koreanclass101.com. I will see you in the next video. 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다. 안녕히 계세요.